I've heard a lot of people say I couldn't change it if I could. And that's pertaining to the color of our skin, right? I've heard people say that. But then I question, would you change it if you could? Because that's a different question. That's a different idea. That's a different way of looking at what you're considering a situation, right? Because really, would you change your skin type if you could? I don't know. I can't speak for you, but I, I think we say a lot of these things. And sometimes we want pity or attention. Right? Because it, it appears we say those things for others to give us um, empathy and or pity when really we're trying to get understanding. We're trying to get our voices heard on a particular subject matter. Right? And that's where we fall short because communication may not be our strongest suit as people. Not as black people, but just as people in general, right? Um, what skin type then would you change yours to if you could? Is my follow up question. If you could change it, first, would you? And what skin type would you change it to? And then my follow-up to that question would be, why? Give me your reasoning as to why you would change it. Now, I don't expect you guys to respond to me um, with your thoughts, right? But I, I do I do hope you will try and sit in your own, um, with your own time and see how you answer those questions, if you've ever had that thought to begin with. Because if you haven't had that thought of, you know, or make, made that statement of, um, if I could, I would change it, then it doesn't apply to you. But if you have, then try to answer these questions. And maybe you'll find your reasoning may, may not be as strong or it may be very strong. Depends on where you are mentally, right? Um, then what benefits or privileges are you seeking in return for changing it to this type that you now want? Okay? Because that's, those are two different things. But again, it gives you perspective. It gives me perspective on where it is that you stand or where you're coming from. You know? Um, and, and again, let me tie this back into the rant that I kind of started off the episode with. Because a lot of people have also said it's because these two brothers are black and that's why they're being treated the same the way they are. And I would be lying if I said I didn't agree with that. I do agree with that. It's a large part of it. And it's unfortunate because they are actually two great individuals in their own rights. But they can't change who they are as far as their pigment. Right? So what are they to do? So recently I heard an interview and um, it was with James Baldwin and uh, Nikki Giovanni. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a great, great conversation. And I think we can all learn something from it, even though it's an old conversation. It's one of those conversations, like many conversations or music from that era. Um, it's just timeless. So if you can find it online, um, please jump on it, and, and I think you'll appreciate it. But I heard James Baldwin say something um, in this interview that moved me in a way that you know I didn't anticipate. And... That's a part of the reason why this episode is happening as well. Not just the two brothers that I mentioned earlier, but that conversation also spawned something in me. And so I want to talk to you guys about it. Now, pardon me, because I'm going to paraphrase a little bit. 
Yeah, it went something along the lines of a black person has to watch the white society he or she lives in because um, his or her life is in their hands. That's a lot. 